want to pay for it even more because the funds that paid for this land to be bought, the open space preservation levy, which council spruced saying that they had to use those funds because, and they had to buy it from a risk of future overdevelopment because it had uh, threatened species, Livestonia swamps and Melaleuca swamp lands and, and uh, mangrove swamp lands. These do not exist in the whole Tipler's precinct. They are two kilometres south of here. The excuse that council used to use those funds of seven or eight million dollars that they spent, they have since admitted in their council reports in the December report that it was inappropriate to use those funds, and now they're just going to roll it all over into another rate rise. It's in the December report. So it affects every Gold Coaster. You and know, I'd like to say something. Pay. Why did they pay ten million in the end? They but something was worth under three million. Mm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Who, where, where was the benefit there? The advice the council was given. Yes. By who? That's the question, isn't it? I'd like to bring. I'd like to bring to your attention one last thing, and I think the most important thing of all. I'm 64 years old. I represent the business community in the Gold Coast. And I, I have always believed that Australia is a democratic society, and that we have the right to vote those people into office that are going to represent us. We have a situation here where I believe that the council administration has taken over the agenda and is making the decisions with the support of the majority of councillors. Mm. If I wanted to live under that sort of regime, I'd move to bloody Beijing. Mm. <laughs> so let me tell you, let's bring back the voice of the people and tell this council that they have to listen to us because we are the people of this country. We believe in a democratic society and nobody takes that power away from us. Yeah. Yeah. Tiplish, she'd receive a hero's welcome. 